Poor Razor. He grew up so fast. And he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Kree said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel's share stand. Aww, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master D. Luke. <laughs> Thanks a lot! Razor will really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master D. Luke I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> D. Luke, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right, then. I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. Oh, Paimon's so full. Adeland's cooking is amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's is taking care of Razor, but the Violets of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master D. Luke! Indeed. Goodbye. Family, huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. You should probably head back and get some rest. I'm not the most familiar with Razor, but you can contact me if you ever need help. It's been a long time since I saw Masters D. Luke and Kaya sharing a meal together. The atmosphere was... Ahem... <clears throat> was not something that a maid of my lowly stature should be commenting on. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.
that the Knights of Avonius would help us get ingredients for Razor's wine, right? They should probably be ready by now. Let's go check! The Dawn Winery is wine. Razor's class has been going. Uh, Sucrose, wait! Uh, honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her! Whoa! You scared Paimon! What's gotten the two of you so worked up? Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait, so does this mean the Knights of Avonius' ingredient is a product of bioalchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why a sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine, and after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow. That sounds like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noelle, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! What is it, Sucrose? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh... Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noelle. Oh, okay. Anyway... Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noelle filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, none of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates. In my opinion, what we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noel's list, I picked the Zensetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis. 
with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I, I already said don't compliment me. Anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensedia, Variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing. And the size and color are both optimal, too. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness Sensedia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. Hey! What's wrong with you? Traveler, there's something else I'd like to share with you. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable, or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but... I truly hope he can find happiness, and spend his life doing what he loves. Oh, Sucrose. Sorry, I am late again. Teacher forgot about the time, I kept talking and talking. That's alright, we were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec, where did Sucrose go? Wow, she disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello, I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She, um... Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like... Potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly. Right? Nothing gets past your nose, does it? This Sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to, uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel, which, if Paimon remembers correctly, is waiting for us at the Angel's Share Stand. Bye, Noelle. We're gonna head off now. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! <laughs>